Hello, welcome back everyone to 2KCW. This is the Girls Grand Prix. We're gonna be starting things off here with the first round action between Charlie Evans and Tori Crawford. Tori Crawford and Tia Green made their debut last week, defeating the Suicide Blondes and essentially eliminating them out of the tournament. Crowning first ever 2K Saloon Wins Champion. Charlie Evans has to take on the more devilish half of Tia Green and Tori Crawford of that friendship. Tori Crawford. Again, not much is known about Tia and Tori, but this that uh, they are a package deal similar to the Suicide Blondes, but that they're best friends and they go wherever the other one goes, so here we are. Tori Crawford put on an incredible performance last week. And you can tell that she's just soaking in all the the booze here in Binghamton for the girls Grand Prix. Of course that is our host for the evening it is the Binghamton Legion post 80 where we have held previous girls Grand Prix tournaments. And I would say this is going to be no exception. So here we go, round one match underway. Charlie Evans, of course, coming up short in a rivalry against the Suicide Blondes. And she's gotten, honestly, she's been on top of the Blondes more than the Blondes have gotten, but it wasn't until that handicap match at Adrenaline. And they finally got a victory over Charlie, but can't ever count out Charlie. Little mighty Charlie. Charlie Evans is taking it to Tory right now. Obviously a much bigger opponent. My goodness, look at the height difference with these two women. And Tory just biting at the fingers of Charlie Evans. My goodness. Uppercut by Charlie. Well, that means that Gary not hitting its mark real well. Now the Northern Lights suplex into the bridge. What has Tori got here? Rolling cutter. Beautifully done there by Crawford in the cover. Only a one count for Charlie Evans. Color and elbow tie up. Tori getting that it's better than that exchange into a tilt of all DDT. And, and Charlie is no small competitor. Just Tori's a freak of an athlete. That's for Dan Stark. Spinning back elbow knocks down Charlie. Of course, Tori was also a high prospect in the WNBA. Again, it's given her her size. She liked to just stick with wrestling hip toss there by Crawford. I guess she's just loving the booze from the crowd here in Binghamton. And now the Canadian Destroyer. So little Charlie Evans. Crawford setting up Charlie now. Face buster. I believe she calls the rearranger. Because that will rearrange your insides, your facial structure. Whatever else they can do, but it's not going to put away Charlie. Again, we know the heart and fight in Charlie Evans. But again, she's got a really tough task at hand here against taking on Tori Crawford. Crawford again, another Northern Lights suplex into the rolling cutter. has been dominating this whole matchup. Maybe now an opening for Charlie. Spinning, rolling elbow there. Oh, 
Farley with a suicide dive, almost a little like a Mankind. Mankind style dive on the outside neck breaker. Again, we'll find out here in our first round, obviously, from our network executive, Craig Spencer, that we will have a competitor from the GEW Academy competing with us tonight. As well as a mystery opponent, and it is somebody from the history in 2CW who, again, we'll have to wait and find out who that will be. As Tori goes right into the seal steps here. Referee a count of eight. I mean, it's a victory if you get, get a count of victory, but Charlie doesn't want that to happen. She wants to give a decision inside the ring. She doesn't want that to be a footnote in her career. She won a tournament round by count out. Charlie missing her mark there a little bit, but she's able to capitalize. Swarms to the center of the back of Crawford, and now sending Crawford into the ring post. And now a drop kick out of the corner. And the assist of the top rope. And there you go, Crawford just again gaining control of this matchup. Now just taunting Charlie. Charlie able to fight out of the hold here from Crawford. Probably Crawford was looking to deal some massive damage and maybe even on her own accord to try and get a count out victory. Well, Charlie fighting back here with a series of strikes. Again, referees count, count of five. And Crawford eats the ring apron. This match for a second time gets brought back inside the ring. A side suplex from Crawford. Women's carry counter by Evans here. And Charlie pick up yet yeah, another upset in her career. Snap DDT. Taking down Crawford. And now into the sunset flip. Cover here. Only a run count. For now. And trying to get a snap DDT. Oh boy, we know what's coming next. Charlie. She was setting up in the corner. Now she's definitely setting up in the corner. Go for a super duper kick and goes for a low angle. Cover here to send the second round. Yes, Charlie Evans is going to this next round of the Girls Grand Prix. Good golly, Miss Molly, that Charlie Evans has pulled off the upset yet again. Take a look at the replays again. There's the rearranger. From Crawford, sunset flip. Beautifully done there by Charlie. Obviously, better just to get the bigger opponent on her knees for more impact, and that's what did it. As Charlie Evans moves on to the second round here of the Gross Grand Prix. Congratulations to Charlie Evans. As we now move on to our next matchup, the Miss Maria versus Akira Yamashita. We haven't seen Miss Maria in some time here in 2KCW. Hopefully, the Work on her 
So it moves a bit here. Shoot the Pink Ranger of the Awakening. And speaking of the Awakening, they'll be defending their two, C two KCW Tag Team titles later on in the show against Smooth as Silk. We saw Akira appear on Rana Chaos Wrestling Strike Zone in a losing effort to Paige. Will be a very quick and surprising matchup for Paige to get the victory over Yamashita. But here we go. Yamashita and Maria. The winner of this match will face Charlie Evans. The winner of the last match running drop kick from Yamashita. And this isn't the first time that these two ways have fought each other, folks. And this is nothing new for these two. And Miss Maria has gotten the better of Yamashita. And their past encounters. So I would say that Yamashita is the one that most to gain here. And to finally make a mark here in the women's division. And then of course, whoever wins the whole Grand Prix will face Dizzy Jet, the undefeated Dizzy Jet, for the new 2KCW women's title. Cover here by Yamashita on Maria, not even a one count. Yamashita. And Maria on the apron momentarily. And now Maria snaps suplex. And again, it is to be a testing kind of testing the water situation if Yamashita can get the win here without the awakening in her corner. Since the Awakening have been on a roll essentially ever since stepping foot into 2KCW and being undefeated and being the champions that cannot be beaten so far. Right hand from Yanis, or, uh, Maria, excuse me. And around and around we go where we stop, nobody knows. Sit out. Maneuver there from Yamashita. With running high knee. Now Yamashita going up to the top rope here. Going for the sunset. Cover here by Yamashita to move on the second round. No. Yamashita going to the top rope again here. We don't see her go to the top rope often, but. Flying splash, that may be why. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Would be what I would be thinking if I was Yamashita. Flying forearm from Yamashita takes down Maria. You now Yamashita is just working on Maria right now, isolating the left arm and stomping around the bicep. Yamashita again up and over. What's she looking for here? Something new out of her arsenal. Tiger fake kick around the ring post. I don't think I've ever seen that before out of Yamashita. That was innovative. And obviously effective. A little kick there by Maria. So Yamashita into the corner. Maria. Needs to get a bit of momentum going here. 
Feel they had a whole lot of offense in this matchup. This may be the turnaround. She engaged with the tornado DDT out of the corner. And of course, her big move, not that one, the belly to belly, but a catch and release. That's what she calls it. Two. Sorry, that was one and two. I cannot count clearly. And my mouth is moving faster than my brain. Now, here we go, Maria. Looking for the catch and release. Yamashita. But she has been there before and knows how to counter it effectively. And now Yamashita, what she's looking for here. Into the torture rack. And a spinning backbreaker. Well, she calls pretty and pink. Cover here. I mean, Maria's foot's close to the ropes, but referee doesn't see it if that was the case. But Mer Kira picks up the victory and will be facing Charlie Evans in the next round of the girls' grand prix. So congratulations are in order for Kira Yamashita. I believe may even be the first victory that she has had here in 2KCW, if I'll be perfectly honest. Well, what a big win it is to get one over the your former adversary and then here in the Grand Prix on the path to a Next, folks, is some more action. Don't be going anywhere. Well, here we go with. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, no way. Christine Buckley. This is the talent we were talking about. Surprise competitor from GAW Academy, Christine Buckley, who was trained by Becky Lynch and from the same town as Becky Lynch. We're going to mix things up here a bit with Christine Buckley here in Binghamton, New York. here folks Christine Buckley versus Jenna Jordan then Jenna returning from a recent tour with Shimmer and Ring of Honor she's been one and one since her return but this will be a great matchup no matter where you are Buckley and Jordan. And uh, Jordan busting out some new gear here for the occasion. Christine Buckley and Jenna Jordan, let's get it going, girls. Series of right forearms from Buckley. Race on control, deflected by Jordan, and Buckley again. And an overhead suplex, almost like an arm trap there. Again, Buckley trained by Becky Lynch. She even was given the same maneuver that Becky has made her, made her famous with the Disarm her, but it's a modified version that she calls the buckshot right drop kick from Buckley. And 
That's obviously Buckley's strategy here, the plan of attack is to focus on the arms of John Jordan. Down to the rolling neck snap. And Jenna Jordan, but now maybe working the legs wouldn't hurt either. Oh my goodness, look at his knee bar. His knee bar attempt from Buckley. The right hand will put a stop to that real quick. As Jordan, another right hand. Laying out Buckley. If Buckley can defeat Jenna Jordan here, this would, I would think, increase her stock over in the academy. And here we go, follow a slam. Going here by Buckley, too. Kick out by Jenna Jordan. Excuse me, that was a pump handle slam or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I just call it impromptu for lack of a better term. Into the buck shot here from Christine Buckley. Is this going to tap out Jenna Jordan here? Yes. A quick match for Christine Buckley. The tap out Jenna Jordan. Obviously, Jenna didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare for any kind of opponent that would be on the academy, on the GAW Academy's roster, but this is a very quick and successful match for Christine Buckley to move on to the next round, and she will be facing the winner of this next matchup. Here in the girls' grand prix. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our final first round matchup. Tia Green again with a mystery opponent. Maybe this, maybe the tides will turn. Uh, Tia can move on in the second round. Obviously, they didn't pay so well for Jenna Jordan, unfortunately. Taking on a mystery opponent from the academy. So this is a competitor from 2CW history. This can mean a lot of different names. Anybody from Mia Yim to Jessica Havoc to even Mickey James. A lot of women have stepped through the ropes of 2CW. It's just a matter of finding out which one it is. We're going to find out here in moments. No, 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 no way. That can't be. And it is Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae is back, folks, here in 2KCW. Well, I mean, in 2CW. The final match with 2CW is at 2CW, two sets in Syracuse, taking on Jessica Havoc. And what would have been the final show for 2CW? Candice LeRae, the wife of Johnny Gargano, Mr. and Mrs. Wrestling. Candice LeRae, no stranger to a 2CW ring. Here we go, Tia Green. Wasting a little time, an arm drag takedown to Candice LeRae. Well, folks, that's not gonna, this is not gonna be the final match for this part of the show. Our final matchup will be a 2KCW tag team title match. So don't be going anywhere. Now Tia. Push-ups onto the back of Candice LeRae. You know, Tia just working on the, the left leg, left ankle of Candice LeRae. 
Candice LeRae decorated independent wrestling. Decorated career in independent wrestling, even as a former PWG tag team champion with none other than Joey Ryan as the world's cutest tag team. Jawbreaker there by Candice LeRae. I swear to you that that's not a lie. Look it up. Candice LeRae not afraid to mix it up with men or women, but. Given the circumstance of the girls, we have three side suplex there by Tia Green. Now Green stomping on the fingers of LeRae here. Now Candace maybe showing signs of life here. And the top kick off the rebound off the ropes. Of Tia Green. LeBron, next snap from LeRae. And now Candace. Legs strapped and arms strapped. No protection there other than just going face first into the mat. Uppercut by Green. To the corner, looking for some kind of knee strike. Looks like maybe a shining wizard in the corner. And Tia Green, but just a little no time. Get the momentum back off the hip toss there. And now Green looking for the Dude Buster, maybe the Dudette Buster. To Candice LeRae, cover here. We saw that move many times last week against the Suicide Blondes. Caught by LeRae. Dumping Green up and over the top rope. Under the apron. And now a neck breaker through the ropes. Kicks LeRae. Staying on the attack here to Tia Green. And now Candace. Oh, no, no, no. Candace DDT. A DDT on the ring apron. Candice LeRae showing that she means business here. Cover of the DDT on the ring apron. Two. Only a two count. The referee's got to be aware of Tia Green to make sure that he can make sure that she can continue off that DDT. I almost stopped the matchup, but now even saw here by LeRae. Green getting turnbuckle pad animal style cover here. One count by Green. Angle drop kick missing by LeRae. Green looking for another kick, but LeRae turns it around to a tilt roll DDT. Candace running shoulder tackle, knocking down Green to the floor. Candace. Going for a moonsault. To Tia Green. Corner goes green, LeRae looking for something here. Center up on the top turnbuckle. Green able to get on her feet, collar and elbow, tie up. Green somehow able to win that exchange for the second. Snap suplex, float over into the cover here by LeRae. Green with a kick out. Simple but effective, a sweep of the leg. And Green has the momentum for now. And this for the takedown to Tia Green.
Oh, now Candace looking for the submission here. The submission here on Tia Green. Green able to, to try to get her fingers just under Candace's hand to break a little hold here. Green swinging neck breaker. And that combination, that was beautifully done by Green. Green looking to set the match. Put the match away here with a solid right hand. And Lorray continuing to fight here. Just a reminder for everybody at home, this is the final first round match. This is not the finals of the met of the uh, of the pre here. These women have been killing it here. Another swing neck breaker by Green. I would think that the strategy would be to end the match as soon as possible, just like Christine Buckley did against Jenna Jordan. And that way you have more time to recover. For later on in the tournament here, up and cut by LeRae. And Candace setting up Green for a glory bomb. And LeRae with a leaping knee. Knee smash right into like a single leg, single legged code breaker. Coming here by LeRae and Green to advance. No. Ray. Oh, Candace put it in the, the Gargano escape. A move made famous by her husband, Gar Johnny Gargano. Is Tia Green going to tap out to the. Nope, Lorray. Letting go of the Gargano escape. And now Lorray splash. Big time splash. Cover here, two, three, Candice LeRae. We'll be facing Christine Buckley in the second round of the Girls Grand Prix. What a matchup these two put on an absolute belter of a match. Ray surprising everybody. The surprises keep coming as she moves on to the second round again to be facing off against Christine Buckley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Candice LeRae is back and she is moving forward. As we now move on to our next match for the 2K City Tag Titles. We'll, we'll take a moment now for a break in the Girls Grand Prix. Again, the 2K City Tag Titles are on the line here. Smooth is still getting another opportunity against the Awakening for the Tag Team Titles. And at this point, I honestly don't know who's going to be able to defeat the awakening for the tag team championships and at the rate that they're going I don't think anybody's going to take them off with them that they might just be potentially moved up to strike zone and might be forced to vacate the titles we'll have to wait and see what happens Eventually, everybody's got to go up, and of course, the Awakening and going in it without Akira Yamashita, because obviously she competed earlier on against Miss Maria. We'll be facing Charlie Evans in the second round of the Girls Grand Prix, which I am told is going to be after this match. And 
mean, what more can the Awakening do to still retain their tag titles? They retain the titles in a false count anywhere. Tornado tag matches. Standard tornado tag. I think almost the next logical step would be an elimination match, but they'd probably win that one too. Well, here we go. Tag team titles on the line. It's going to be Dynamite York. Dynamite, Dynamite Curtis, excuse me. Dynamite Curtis and Akira Matsumoto will be starting things off here. Caller now about tie up. Curtis getting the advantage. Pressing into the Awakenings corner. See if we get a clean break here. Yes. A quick clothesline when the ref wasn't looking. I mean, that's. It's not the most. Effective way to win a match, but it's effect it's a strategy nonetheless. But we also can't forget folks in our co-main event. Says the finals of the Grand Prix will be the main event, the co-main event, two KCW heavyweight title on the line, Devin Andrews versus Eric Anderson for the title. Matsumoto, quick jump to the abdomen of York, or excuse me, Dynamite Curtis, as Sakamoto enters the match. And Sakamoto able to fight out with a hold here by Curtis. down on the floor and Sakamoto's looking to fly already in this matchup down on the floor what's he looking for here he's looking for a standing maneuver this could pay dearly yes he's looking for a bit of an elbow drop on the dynamite Curtis but Curtis able to swipe him out of the air you can see the atomic drop Sakamoto. Now this match gets back inside the ring. Curtis sending Sakamoto into Silk's corner. Tag made. Double on is trapped into the fist drop from Isaac York. And Isaac, you might want to be paying attention here, man. Because here comes Matsumoto. Series of knees to the abdomen of Isaac York. Right hand by Isaac York. Drop toe hold by Matsumoto. Into the running knee. Matsumoto looking to fly. Double foot stomp. Finds a York, and this may be the end of the match right here. I can't believe it, quite frankly. Matsumoto looking for the Dragon's breath to Isaac York. And he connects with that cover here. Is Isaac going to be able to kick out here? Yes. Matsumoto. At this point, I probably can't believe it that York kicked out of the Dragon's breath. There's Isaac. Snipner take down, kick to the back. Looking to make a tag back into Dynamite. with a drop kick on the entry goes Matsumoto. Running clothesline, again missing. As you can see, York was trying to reach out and grab Matsumoto in the ring apron. Chopping down the leg into 
for a takedown from Curtis. Dragging him back into the Silk's corner. Tag made. Here comes Isaac. And a standing drop kick there by Isaac York. And now he's maybe looking. For his natural way, looking for the exclamation point, DD2. Matsumoto able to sweep the leg out from underneath, another foot stomp to the chest. To Isaac York, working on that counter. I don't know what you call that move, but it was effective nonetheless. Looking to go back to the legs of Matsumoto. Moto able to shove him off. And Dynamite looking to get back in this matchup. He runs back in. Driving his knee right in the center of the back of Isaac York. Off the ropes. Good counter and spin back over from Isaac. Overhead toss there, but or overhead throw there. I'd almost say like a judo throw, but that's more of a hip torque than anything else. But I was leaving with that. I'm not a jujitsu master like Ronda Rousey. You know, Matsumoto getting the serving of turnbuckle stuffing. Throw the world TD2. And Matsumoto was looking to take down Isaac, but Isaac able to recover a lot more sooner than Matsumoto would have thought. Now we guys got a strike fest going on outside the ring here. Matsumoto lighting up Isaac York. Here for the crowd in Binghamton here at the American Legion. Isaac maybe looking to get a tag in to Dynamite. Was not able to find it. Back body drop by Matsumoto. And now Matsumoto maybe looking for the Dragon's Breath yet again. Here we go. Dragon's breath again. To Isaac York. Is this going to be enough to retain the titles here? Oh, whoa, Dynamite. He may not have thought he was going to be able to break up the pinfall, but instead goes for the referee. Which could cause for a disqualification and still not win the titles, but I guess whatever works. Matsumoto, looking for here, looking for the knock him down. First time we've seen that maneuver. Two, three, first time we've seen the knock him down, and that's going to do it for the Awakening to retain the titles yet again. And here we see the first. Dragon's Breath from Akira Matsumoto. Another successful title defense. Here we see the knock him down. First time we've ever seen that from Akira Matsumoto. And again, another successful title defense for the Awakening. And they add the Women's Championship to their collection. We'll have to wait and find out. As the Girls Grand Prix continues, as well as the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship match between Devin Andrews and Eric Anderson. 
Thank you everybody so much for watching. We'll see you at the conclusion of the Girls Grand Prix next week right here on YouTube. Thank you everybody so much and we'll see you next time.